Okay, so my Twitch is Kettleman 616. Yeah, 616. Yeah. Because some Europe stole this. It was because Brian. Yeah, I don't know if that was like me long ago or something. Uh, okay, so. Is everything alright? Yeah. So. I'm going to the level 6 screen first anyway. So, apparently, as Sven noted, the. Music composer for this game apparently lives here in Skövde. Mm, I Phantom and Quay is a composer. Yeah? yeah? I did not know that. So, ready on... Uh, I can go whenever. Give him a sec, he's just doing all you. Right. So, so, yeah. You can play this on Goddess Mode or Kitty Mode. I had a Nation War for it, so... Uh, Goddess has won, so you're going to see... Uh, so, this is Boobs Mode. So I'm going to play all stages, all right? Three, two, one, go. Okay, so despite the Minecraft graphics and boobs, this is actually not a, not too bad of a game. It's an Xbox Live in the game, so it costs uh, $1 to buy. You can't jump, but you have a jetpack, and jetpacks are awesome. Ah, didn't make that. Ah. Okay, that will work. Actually, good problem. Okay, so ah, no fireball. Not sure if fireball is actually random. Ah. Yeah, the art of this game is like that. You're not going to see a lot of it, because I'm going to be mashing past the result screens. Oh yeah. Who cares, it's early in the morning. This is the first checkpoint skip I do, despite what it looks like in the background when you hit checkpoints to remove like the ice from the background, you don't actually have to hit hit any checkpoints. They're just that okay, that was not supposed to have happened. It has happened a lot before though. I don't think there's any way to die in this game that I have not managed to do. And some stages just decide to kill you. Due to the actually that's more due to the way the jetpack works, but that's nine stages in total. This game costs one dollar and next we in the games. It's uh says chat exploding. What am I doing? It's kind of worth oh. I mean it's I think it's worth more. There is a sequel which uh, costs three bucks and only has eight stages. Okay, that so was not supposed to have Lava, please! Ah, uh, god. So Sven is sitting next to me and saying weird things and uh, I screwed that up. Oh wow, this, this is going terribly right now. I keep forgetting I'm supposed to go left at the last one. I messed that up every single practice run I did. Ah, I was not supposed to fall in that, but that's actually going to remove that missile, so that's not too bad. Oh yeah, that's the end of that stage. That's the lady from the intro. Hmm? Not really. There is a gallery mode, which you're not going to see. Doing this in uh, Goddess mode is worth it, if only for the final stage, though even if we did Kitty mode I would have shown that off because it's the best thing. And it's not as good at all in Kitty mode. Ah, uh, what am I doing? 
That should not have happened. I'm probably gonna die. Yep. The timing of these beams is... are usually not that... Why did I forget there was lava there? Timing on these beams is kind of... Okay, actually these are kind of forgiving. There's a worse one later on. Yeah. Ah, missed the... So, there's a kind of movement glitch thing in this game, where sometimes if you fly and you hit a corner of a platform just right, it thinks you actually landed and replenishes your jetpack fuel, but I've never been able to get that in any way consistent. So, like, if it happens, good, but I can never plan around it because I don't know how, how it actually happens. Okay, that was not good. Oh, game, please. Okay, I'm gonna save this one. Oh, or so I thought. like 17 seconds slower than my best time. Okay, I think it's this one that has the really annoying start. Oh yeah, it's this one. Ah, I should have made it up there. Okay. Oh, okay, that was... that went really well. I've died there a lot in practice. Oh, missile, please. Don't blind side me like that. These missiles are some of the worst in the game, so I'm just gonna let this one blow up. Okay, that was not supposed to happen. I'm gonna save this one slightly. Missile, please. Going the wrong way, that's not great, Kenny. Keep doing that. You're doing great. Yeah, so these star things replenish your jetpack fuel. We're doing a slightly riskier checkpoint skip here, but it's not that bad actually. Unless I mess up here, which I shouldn't be doing. Yeah, that one will. This part can be kind of bad because sometimes the decide game decides uh, that I died right here. Sometimes, even with a replenish, it doesn't actually let me reach that platform. I think it's if I like go downwards at some point, but all right. Twenty seconds, kind of slow. Let's see, is this, this, this stage, or which one is this? Yeah, it's this one. You can skip that first uh, star thing, but not, this, not any others. Trust me, I've tried. Uh, ah, almost made it. 
I don't actually think it's faster to skip the false platform there, but it looks good. Oh, game, please. Lava, please, don't do that. Rather jetpack, please. The sequel costs three. Oh yeah, so this is. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, it might be. So that was the lady with the least clothes in the game. This is the second to last stage. And it, I just remember I shouldn't be moving right when it starts because then I'm gonna activate that and that is gonna screw me over big time. Ah, uh, I'm dead. Game, please. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, we have a one dollar donation from Kanjo who says, Rename Zelda Majora's Mask Save into ESAFR. Thanks, Kanjo. Ah, no. I've been missing this room a lot in practice, actually. And I screwed that up. I need to land on the first platform. Skip that one, land there, land there, land there, and fly up here, there we go. And then this missile can follow me as much as it wants. Ah, uh, on that lava. Those lava walls. Okay, alright, oh yeah, that. Not the final checkpoint, so I'm just gonna keep forgetting it. Well, I keep forgetting you're not supposed to go on top of that one, but underneath it, and wow. That. So, yeah, that missile was there from before I died, so. I respawned with the old missile still on the screen, so it homed into my new position when I respawned, so... And this is how a kitty looks like. Okay, this is the final station that's the worst stage in the game. It has one part that basically if you don't do it perfect, you die. And then at this stage is basically making it wor making it worth playing in boobs mode. Uh, what am I doing? That was not a platform. What am I doing? Land there. I need to dodge the missile before I activate the uh, beam thing. Otherwise, my life is gonna be hard. I got the corner thing there. This one is annoying because I have two. Ah, too high. To land here, I'm gonna do it. I don't think I have enough jetpack field to do this. No. Ah, okay. Let's see. This should do it. Yeah. Miss out, please. Okay, here comes the worst part in the game. Need this checkpoint. These beams, if I don't do this part pretty much perfectly, I'm gonna get killed by the beams. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm probably gonna, yeah, I'm gonna die. These beams are not forgiving in the slightest. This should do it. Yep, there we go. So that's pretty much the worst part of the game. Uh, 
We gotta be slightly careful here. Ah, no. I thought I'd make that, but I didn't. There we go. Uh, we are coming up on the end, actually, so... Uh, and by the... It's down there. You can do that. Okay, uh, so time is when our rest in peace headphone users. So get ready on time. Time. So, what was that? 14.32? That's not too bad. I've done worse. My record is like... Yeah. That's like a minute slow. Actually, this stage was a minute slow. Okay. Here's a kitty. <laughs> that was Suncraft Me, and that was my last round of the marathon. Thank you for watching, and it's uh, Svenna time. Yeah. Don't forget to follow Cunningham. Yeah. I need to see how many new uh, Twitch followers I got on for this marathon. <laughs> right, as you all heard, that was uh, Kennyman 666's last run. Um, by the way, Kennyman's mic's still on, I think. Oh, the, no, put no, it in it's, the box. Don't, don't touch anything there. S I don't know. Yeah. Mic down. Turn this mic off. Um. With that, I am here to remind you that this is the European Spitzer Assembly 2014 streaming live from Hofde in Sweden. This is our final day, unfortunately, because this means this is almost going to end sometime tonight. And you are watching the Oh My God Is Anybody Up At All in the morning with Oh My God, uh, I should be speedrunning this but I'm too tired, Kappa morning. Next up will be Svenne for Asterix and uh, yeah European Species Assembly has been streaming since Saturday no since Sunday see I'm tired as well since Sunday because today is Saturday um, collecting donations for Doctors Without Borders also known as Médecins Sans Frontières the international independent medical humanitarian organization delivering emergency aid to people affected by armed conflicts epidemics natural disasters and exclusion from healthcare they offer assistance to people based on need, irrespective of race, religion, gender, or political affiliation. Yes. Thing is, I can see Svenne practicing his Asterix run, which is going to be up next on the television already. Um, I don't know what the tech is like, whether uh, we are ready to carry on with that run soon or not. Adenol in zombies mode says, hey, yep. Okay, we have picture. Are we ready to hype? We are ready to hype, then let us hype. Asterix. Okay, so my Twitch is Kenneman616. Yeah, 616. Yeah. Because some Europe is totally. So yeah, you can play this on Goddess Mode or Kitty Mode. I had a Nation War for it, so uh, Goddess has won, so you're going to see. Uh, so this is Boobs Mode. So I'm going to play all stages. Alright. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, so despite the Minecraft graphics and boobs, this is actually not a, not too bad of a game. 
it's an Xbox Live mini game, so it costs uh, one dollar to buy. You can't jump, but you have a jetpack, and jetpacks are awesome. Ah, didn't make that. Like that. You're not going to see a lot of it because I'm going to be mashing past the result screens. Oh yeah. Who cares, it's early in the morning. This is the first checkpoint skip I do, despite what it looks like in the background when you hit check. Yeah, I don't know if that was like me long ago or something. Uh, okay, so. Yeah. So. So I'm going to the level 6 screen first anyway. So apparently, as Sven noted, the music composer for this game apparently lives here in Kvevde. I. Phantom and Quay is Yeah? I did not know that. So, ready on... Uh, I can go whenever. Right. So... Ah. Okay, that will work. Actually, good problem. Ah, uh, no fireball. Not sure if fireball's actually random. Ah. Yeah, the art of this game is 